Hi there Year 4, I just thought I'd post a video today to give you a little bit of help with some of your maths work. So I can see that you've been sending in loads and both me and Miss O'Connor are really, really impressed with what you've been sending. But lots of comments saying you're finding the times table work that we do on a Wednesday a little bit tricky and that maybe I could help to show you how it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm, trying to, I'm going to try and be quite clever, is I'm going to share my screen and show you how to do it online. So hopefully at the moment you should be able to see the grid that we're sending you and I've put it on what I normally teach with our smart notebooks. Uh, well, and um, both of you, both Teddington and Cobbley, you've both been taught by me, you both know how rubbish I am at using my trackpad on my laptop to draw. But I'm gonna give it a go today and try and answer the questions uh, with you and try and explain how I'm working them out. So fingers crossed that it actually works that you can see what I'm doing. So first thing I'm going to look at is the draw it section. Um, we've done lots of these before and hopefully you're finding them easy enough and I'm still going to go through them. So we've got our bar model at the top here first of all and I've got my 54 which is my total and we know that all of my answers are going to be 9 and 6 because 6 times 9 is 54. So I'm going to start first of all by splitting the first part into 6 equal parts. And both classes know that I'm going to try and make them as equal as possible. And that you'd normally use a ruler, but I'm going to try and let myself off on this time. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six equal boxes, and I'd have nine in each of those. Oops, see, there's my writing, it's gone already. And then in the second part of my bar model, I would have nine equal boxes. One, two, three, oops, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Let's just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in each of those boxes, I would have a six. Simple enough, and we use this method quite a lot, so you should be pretty good at doing these. Okay, next one I'm gonna go on to is the groups. So again, I have six circles at the top, and I need to use the other multiple number, the other nine, so I need nine in each box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I'm guessing you've got the gist of that about the second one through. But again, the bottom one, I've got nine groups here and I need six in each. And then that would give us a total of 54 in each one. Three, four, five, six. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number line at the bottom. I've got, uh, you've got your zero at the start and your 54 at the end, and then you need to do your jumps. So the first jumps I'm gonna try and do nine. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they're fairly even, I'm happy with that, nine jumps, and I'm counting in sixes each time, but on my number line, they're gonna add up. So six add six is 12 on my second one, and then 18, you can use your fingers, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24 is my next one, and then 30, oops, that's a funny three, 36, 42, 48 and then your last jump would be your 54 which you've got there and then on the bottom you can do your six jumps of your nines so you'd have one two three four five six definitely not even there apologies for that but then you would have your counting in nines nine 18 27 36, 45, and then your 54. But again, those jumps should be more even than I've drawn them. Okay, going to the array at the top. This is drawing the multiplication out. So you've got a multiplication of six times nine. 
So you can count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, I just jogged at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then six across. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would again definitely recommend using a ruler for this bit, but you are gonna have to let me off because it's on the computer. And then you could color that bit in. And if you really wanted to, you could do it the other way. So I've gone nine down on that way. So I'm gonna do nine across this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six up. And you can just see I've just done it in a different color. Not quite been as accurate as I should have been up here, but I've just done that with a different color just because they overlap slightly. Okay, then the last one is just the scaling. So nine times what, nine times six, and six times what is nine, and your middle column is your 54, if you want to write that in there. Okay, excellent. That is your first section done, so well done for that. Okay, moving on to the next bit. Oh, I just need to get rid of all of my drawings, and I can go on to the next bit. This is the dissect it section. So this um, is partly um, some of the questions that you're struggling with, and it, I, I can understand why, because it doesn't give you any instructions, but the biggest clue on the page are these pictures, and these will help you out. <clears throat> so the question is asking you six times nine is equal to what? So what is it the same as? And this drawing will help you. So I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four sections there. So it's six times four, and it's been broken down into six times four and then six times five. And it's saying six times nine is the same as six times four, add six times five. And then you work out the answers. So six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Add them together and you get your 54. Brilliant, okay, next one then. So six times nine again is the same this time as six times one, adding six times eight. So six times one is six. Six times eight is 48. Add those together and you get your 54. Marvellous, speeding through these now. Oh, this one's slightly trickier, I suppose, because there are three, but they've broken it down into six times two, add six times two, add six times five. So then six times two is 12, add six times two is 12, and then add six times five is 30 and add all of those up, you get your 54. Okay, last one here, six times nine is the same as six times three, adding six times six. And then you can just check, is my three add six, nine, which it is. So six times three is 18, six times six is 36, and when you add those together, you get your 54. Hopefully that's clearer than some of the messages I've been typing out to you and your parents to try and explain that one. Um, it's definitely always easier to show it. Um, we will now go on to the next one. Oh, and I've got to clear all that again. Okay, so the next one, the derive it. This, is, this um, comes on the bottom left of your worksheet. And this is asking you, what do you know if you know something else? So these are our fact families that we do all the time. So if I know six times nine is 54, what do I also know? So I can swap those around and I know that nine times six is 54, so I've, I've swapped the numbers around. And then I know 54 equals, I can have my nine times six again, and swap it round for six times nine. Okay, brilliant. Then I've got something divided by something equals, so I know my 54 has to go here as my biggest number, it's my total, 54 divided by, I'm just gonna choose nine and pop the six there, but you could do those the other way round. And the last one is something is equal, to something divided by, and this, because this divide here, it means that I know my biggest number has to go here. So something is equal to 54 divided by something. So again, you could have your nine here. I know that 54 divided by nine is six, or six is equal to 54 divided by nine, or you could have swapped those two around. Okay, we then go to the question side. So something multiplied by something is something. So again, I can have my six, multiplied by nine is 54. And then my groups of, I know that nine groups of six is 54. So again, I've just swapped those two around. 
Oh, that is a funny four. Okay, next one. Something shared equally between six is something each. So 54 being my total, 54 has to be shared equally between six. So it's given me one of my numbers is nine each. And again, my 54 is my total. Put into groups of six is nine groups of six. Okay, then uh, something and something are factors of something else. So my factors, my total goes at the end. And the factors, the numbers that multiply to make it are six and nine. And I could have swapped those around if I wanted to. And then something is a multiple of something and something else. So my 54, and it's a multiple of six and nine, because as we saw from our number line earlier, if you count up in sixes, you get to 54. You count up in nines, you get to 54. So six and nine, uh, sorry, 54 is a multiple of six and nine. Okay, almost there, last section. And I just need to clear it once more. So this one is your deep in it. So we know that all the way through this sheet, we've been doing six times nine is 54. And we've got these still over here, just in the middle, just to remind us. So it's saying, what do I do if it's got 60? 60 is equal to something divided by nine. So the number I'm missing is my 54 for this question. But this answer here has been multiplied by 10. So I'm going to have to multiply this number by 10. So I'm going to need it to be 540 divided by nine would give me the 60 because these two numbers have been multiplied by 10. Similarly with the next question, 5,000, I'm gonna put my comma in, 5,400 is equal to what times nine? So the number they're missing is my six, but this has two zeros on it, which means it's been multiplied by 100. Therefore, I am going to have to multiply my answer by 100 and have my two zeros on the end or be moving my place value to uh, zeros because Mrs. Barnes would tell me off if I just said add two zeros. OK, next one. Nine is equal to what divided by 60? So again, my missing number is my 54 on here. This number here, my 60, it's been multiplied by 10. So I need to multiply my answer by 10. So 540 divided by 60 is my nine. Next one, something times six is 540. So again, my missing number is nine here. Nine times six is 540. This number here though has been multiplied by 10. So I multiply my answer by 10, 90. And the final one, a sixth of what is nine? So again, my missing number here is my 54. But I'm going to explain why, because this one here seems to trick a lot of people out when it's a sixth. And if I just show you from the very first draw it question earlier that we had our 54 on the top and it's asking one sixth. So when we do our fractions, the number one is the number you're interested in and the number six is how many equal parts. So I know I've got my six equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's already given me the answer inside them, which is my nines. I'm interested in one sixth of my, uh, of 54, which gave me my nine. Okay, excellent, last tiny little bit. How many minutes are there in nine hours altogether? So the question it's asking is minutes. In, in hours, so we know that every minute uh, in an hour there are 60, so 60 minutes in an hour, 60 minutes in nine hours is 60 times nine. So if I do my six times nine, which I know now is 54, this number here has been multiplied by 10, so I need to multiply mine by 10. Next one, Beth sells bracelets uh, for 60 pounds each. If she earns 540 pounds, how many bracelets has she, has she sold altogether? So I'm just gonna do my workings over here. So we've got 540 pounds that she's made altogether. And she's sold them for 60 pounds each. So how many has she sold? Okay, so we've got our 54 divided by six. Both of the zeros are there, so they can be taken away. So she's actually only sold nine because both of these have been multiplied by 10 and my answer doesn't need to be. So minutes are there all together. I probably should have popped this up here. There are 540 
Oh, this is where it gets really tricky. M I N with my beautiful handwriting, U T E S. It's always worth putting my unit of measure. 560 minutes. How many bracelets has she sold? She sold nine bra oops, bracelets. B R A C E L E T S. Almost there. Um, there are 60 chews in each pack. Chews are sold for 90 pence each. How much is a pack sold for in total? So if I got 60 chews and they're sold for 90 pence each, it's asking you what 60 times 9 is. So 6 times 9 we know is our 54. This number has been multiplied by 10, which I'll multiply by 10, and this number has been multiplied by 10. So it's 5,400 pence. And if I convert that, it would be 54.00, oops, 54.00 pounds. So that's how much the, um, that has been made in total. 54 pounds. Last question then. Six painters earn 5,400 for a job. They share the money equally. How much do they each receive? So I've got 5,400 pounds. It's getting really tricky to write with now. 5,400 pounds and it's divided by the six painters. So I've got my 54 divided by six, which is nine, but this number has been multiplied by 100. So I've got 900 because I multiply my answer and I should have a pound sign in there. So they receive 900 pounds each. And the final question that you've been asked over here is um, 540 divided by 90 is 60. And is it true or false? Um, and we look at our answer. We know that we've been talking about 54 divided by 9 is 6. 540, which has been times by 10, divided by 900, uh, sorry, by, uh, by 90 is 60 and I'm actually going to let you work out that final one. Do you think that is true or false? I really hope that that has helped you with your multiplication. Uh, we will be sending you another one of those next week. It might not be on your six times tables anymore because we've done a lot of those but I hope that's helped you um, to work out each of the steps and hopefully you'll be able to use the same techniques to work out maybe the next table next week. Um, again, thank you so much for sending all your work to us. We really are enjoying it um, and good luck. Thanks very much.